Hey everyone, welcome to Encore. This is Corin, and I invited my friend Billy, who's doing Miss Saigon with me, and he's one of the featured acrobats in the show and one of the GI Marines, and he agreed to do this look for my Halloween special this year. So this is one of the um, Halloween looks that I came up with for Halloween 2007, and if you're interested in how to do this, keep watching and we'll show you how. Be hey everyone welcome back so this is what billy looks like without makeup and he's kind of nervous i think are you nervous no all right cool. so i already prepped his skin with moisturizer a little bit of lip balm on his lips I also did some spot concealing where, wherever it's needed. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to erase one of his eyebrows. So I already did a video tutorial on this. So if you haven't seen that, go ahead and watch it so you know how to do it. And then we'll be back with Billy's um, eyebrow mask. So. Okay, so I masked Billy's right eyebrow using Crayola's eyebrow plastic. And now I'm going to be using Fawn, which is an eyebrow pencil. And I'm drawing a line starting from Billy's temple all the way down and across Billy's nose and fawn is like a taupe color and then from his nose I'm going to continue aligning all the way down to his jawline now this line doesn't have to be clean or it doesn't have to be straight either it just needs to be visible enough for us to have a guideline when we apply our two-tone foundation so again, from the temple down to the jawline, just like that. Next, I'm applying Studio Stick Foundation in NW60 on the upper portion, and I'm using a MAC 190 brush. For the lower portion, I'm using Studio Stick in NC15, which is just one shade lighter than Billy's natural skin tone. Set the foundation using translucent powder or invisible powder, and I'm using my MAC 150 brush. Using my 239 brush, I'm applying bare canvas paint all over Billy's lid as a base color or a base primer. Next, I'm applying MAC eyeshadow in fade as an all over lid color. And I'm using my MAC 217 brush, and I'm also applying that to the masked eyebrow. And I do apologize for my camera focusing too much. I didn't realize this until I've completed the session. Now for the other eye, I'm using Fade as well as an all-over all lid color, and I'm just going to apply that all the way to the brow line. Next, I chose Moon's Reflection, which is a silvery blue color, as a lid color, and just applying that on in a dusting motion all over the lid, all the way to the brow bone. Now for drama, I'm doing a smoky effect using Deep Truth eyeshadow, starting from the lash line blending it upwards towards the crease line. A dramatic liner is very important. I use fluid line in black track and my angled brush number 208 starting from the center blending it outwards and then filling the inner corner of the eye towards the center and once again blending it outwards. For the lower liner I'm adding Deep Truth eyeshadow with my MAC 219 pencil brush and I'm smudging and smoking the eyeshadow right under the lower lash line. For added drama, I'm using Graph Black, which is a technical pencil from MAC, and I'm just putting that right on the lash line. Now for the fun part, I'm adding some sequins to Billy's eye makeup using some Duo Surgical Adhesive or eyelash glue. I put a dot of glue right above the black line. 
and then I'm going to adhere a sequin. Now sequins are made so that they look like cups and it's best to adhere them upside down so it's cupping the skin. And using eyelash glue is really safe for your eyelid area. Now I am just going to encrust the whole eye just like this. This is the finished design. Now the design ideas for this is endless. You can do lightning bolt, you can, you can do stars, you can do a moon, you can do flowers. It's all up to you. Okay, next I'm just going to fill the other eyebrow using MAC Eyebrow Pencil and this is in Velvet Tone. And Billy already have beautiful full eyebrows so it just needs filling here and there. And I'm just going to extend that about a quarter inch in the end for added drama. Next I'm going to set Billy's eyebrows using Brow Set in Clear and I'm brushing it upwards and then outwards towards the end. Okay, for more fun, I'm going to be drawing a lace pattern. And I chose to use little leaves and some flowers. Again, the idea is endless. I want it to look more like a French lace or like a Venetian lace. So you can look at like a lace blouse or a lace dress or maybe even like a window treatment and just kind of copy the pattern. You can also stencil this if you have a nice stencil you can use a stencil. So ideas are endless. And then I'm drawing some diagonal lines left and right diagonal lines so that it looks much like a fishnet pattern. And I'm using PowerPoint in Stubborn Brown. So it looks like a lace, just like that. Next I'm going to be adding some mascara. And Billy has naturally full lashes and it's already curled so I don't need to curl it. If you prefer, you can also use some false eyelashes. Next I'm contouring his cheekbones using Sweet as Cocoa which is a blush from MAC and I'm just applying that right under the cheekbones and then blending it upwards towards the hairline and then downwards towards the jawbone and I'm also going to be contouring the jawbone using Sweet as Cocoa and this is the MAC 129 brush which is a blush brush. Next I'm lining Billy's lips with Quartz lip pencil And I'm also going to be filling in the inner corner of the mouth for dimension. Next, using Viva Glam 6 lip gloss, I'm just going to apply that right in the middle pout and then blend outwards towards the corner. And I'm going to be bringing in the quartz lip liner as well. Same thing with the top, with the with the uh, top portion. Just apply that towards the center, and then blend outwards, and then bring in some of the quartz lip pencil, and then fix and straighten the lip line. Smiling, of course, that's the best way to fix your lip, your lip color. Finally, set everything and blend together using your translucent or invisible powder and again my MAC 150 brush and dust the excess powder off. And that completes the look and this is a really cool Halloween mask idea. Oh,